Hey everyone, welcome to my channel ASP.record and today I am going to show you the next video tutorial of car rental system. In this video, just I am going to uh, first of all uh, log in into the uh, account of the use or customer account. So like that. And here we have uh, passwords. Okay, so uh, entered into the system. And after that, uh, your order will be calculated like that. Here we have these old uh, R flags and just uh, only approved uh, uh, will be showed like that in that session so update order button is removed from here for the user accounts as well as your order summary like that order is approved order okay so just next uh, to the pending uh, orders so here we have order pay now buttons so after pay now you just uh, call to the you know that uh, a stripe account will be opened and you will uh, forward to the related data so okay and just log out button and just log in into the again admin accounts so here we have admin at the rate of and admin one two three and you notice that here we have cms and just your orders and just go for the approved orders and here we have a start processing. After start processing, uh, you can notice that uh, amount will be uh, ordered, but after processing, you will get the data from the user. That is the physical data. So you can say that identity identity proof of any uh, if you uh, if you have uh, which is related to the user, you can say so and just go for the cancel order. Okay. So update the information of the user by the admin just after updating uh, that information. Okay, so start processing, cancel order and update order will be updated to soon. So uh, just uh, go for the next uh, part that is the part that is logging into the uh, session of your customer like that. And here we have uh, your orders like that and just uh, go for the pending uh, first of all and just click on the pay now button and when we click on the pay now button uh, proceeding will be the same okay okay start uh, in the order uh, in the details table in okay so here we have a order controller so just open your orders controller and right here just use HTTP HTTP post public and here we have all the details that is the details and just cool and that is the button type of the submit button okay so the form will be uh, calling so orders control yes to be post and public so first of all make stop this public ID action result and uh, that is P now and here we have order and in the details tip where we have what's going on order view model vm and now after that we will get the values so where order header is that is the order header service so order header service dot get order header vm dot order header dot it and you know that order header have uh, includable property of your application user and also here we have pair order details and that is the order service uh, order detail service dot get order detail vm dot order header id okay and uh, now on the stripe configuration right there now after that we will configure your uh, stripe accounts 
so here we have the stripe uh, details and you know that here we have the stripe details like that and session create options and you know that uh, session create options inside actually in stripe dot checkout so wait for some times okay so it's it will resolve automatically and where item in the vm dot list of cards uh, it's not a vm dot list of card vm dot order uh, details dot okay it's actually existing in vm dot order error dot it's not actually there okay so here we have uh, you know that uh, order details is right there so just use instead of vm just you can say this is the part of order details okay it's a list of the data you can say so here we have uh, the product details is also there so item total amount is not there in the item so it's what it's friend total okay and the list of card dot a vm dot a list of card it's not a vm uh, it's a order details Okay, and just use it. Okay, now you can check it for pay now button. And it's okay for your uh, pay now button because uh, I think it's a completely that is that related to your session and your Stripe account. Wait for some times. I will check it and uh, I will show you the whole details. Okay, now just uh, log in with the authenticated account, commit, and here we have this line of code, and use your orders, oops, your orders, and here we have a pending details, just click on the pay now button, and you will see that uh, it's a processing under this, and you know that uh, Stripe checkout is at core. That is the 700, uh, that is the type of Varna. Just I want to use it. And here we have a test account, test at the rate of gmail.com. And the uh, account is uh, okay. And that is Visa. 4000556 zero zero five five And CVV is 1 to 3. And it's pay. name on card and that is test account and your order is successfully done so here we have an approved order like that and also uh, just I want to approve it these all are things okay so uh, these are all related to the uh, related to the users and just I want to confirm by the admin and you know that update order is not visible for the user so here we have uh, these my art templates 
and you know that update order so this time I want to hide for your admin accounts so session ID is not now okay if user is in wrong then only update that account and this is visible for yeah, this row will be visible for your only admin <coughs> okay now save this part and you will see that it will be hidden for the admin account for the user account so oops just go for the orders and details yeah it's not there and it's pending details yeah, it's not there okay so everything is fine now I just go for the pay now button is properly working now just log in into the admin account admin okay and just go for the CMS your order and here we have a approved order and just here we have the all our updated order details okay uh, admin can uh, change your order date as well as payment date uh, okay but uh, it's not there uh, payment status is approved okay but you notice that just I want to update orders update orders I mean I mean to say that uh, admin can enter some additional details to the user that is the identity proof information like any uh, ID uh, of the user that is related to the government ID and uh, also add phone number and after that we will go for the start processing and the cancel order okay if we go for the cancel order uh, that uh, refund will be initiated to the uh, account okay so rental date is like that and admin can check it and cancel order so just we will go for the cancel order. okay now we will be prepared for the cancel order so just move to the uh, detail.cs uh, stream file and here we have a pay now button for your uh, role is the customer role and just here we have a cancel order like that so ESP action is cancel order so just uh, go for the order controllers and here we have a order controller and looking like that uh, here we have the pay now button so similar here we have HTTP post and uh, just go for uh, your stock debugging So here we have a uh, cancel order. So just use public ix on result, and that is the cancel order. And cancel order in which you can just take that as a post VM. And here we have also order VM, and where we have the all details of the user. Now after that we will implement that order header and order detail information with the in the cancel order so first of all get the order details and order header like that and order detail is actually not uh, used right there and after that if order header dot payment status is global configuration dot status approved then uh, you can say that uh, just refund will be initiated if it is not then order will be cancelled like that so just check it again and you will see that uh, your order will be cancelled and referred will be initiated okay uh, without any processing
and wait for some times. Okay, so here we have just login into the system and okay, so here we have your order, uh, your order, and here we have just details. Okay, just log out, login, admin at the rate of gmail.com, admin, okay, under the CSS, your orders, and approved. After approved your order, just cancel the order details. Okay, so order and details is 8. So uh, the local host space can't be found because order uh, under the uh, admin order and detail is under there. So just open details order. Uh, that is the orders controller. That is the perfect controller name and vm.order header ID. That is the cancelled. Okay, so save this and you will notice that your refund will be initiated. Okay, and uh, just again, we will move to the back state one. And you notice that your order will be cancelled. And just move your order. And here we have your order and refunded. You can say that order status is cancelled and payment status is refunded. Okay, so everything is fine. Now just go for the next part. And thank you very much for watching this video and keep watching all of the videos which is related to ESP.NET Core and Car Rental System.